welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new so today is a completely different kind of a video I believe after a long week or even sometimes a long day of work it's nice to have a glass of wine or even a small drink and that's what I love to do it's my way to uh, like unwind and so in today's video I want to share that part of myself with you so Tomorrow's Saturday, today's Friday. I'm filming this on Friday so that I have it up and ready for you guys tomorrow. But I'm gonna be doing like a question and answer video and then I'm going to be having a drink with you guys. So go ahead and grab your own glass of wine, tea, coffee, whatever you want. And also there's a small twist in this video. This is gonna be a taste test. So I'm gonna be tasting this for the first time. I know it seems a little bit empty, but um, the people in my house already tried it. This is a Nellie Collins Honey Love XXX Tennessee Family Recipe Moonshine. So the retail price for this is $12.99 and I got it at my local grocery store. Um, it was like $7.99. So sometimes they do have good deals. Uh, I got it from a store called Grocery Outlet and if you have it for alcohol, they're amazing because they have like all these bunch of new alcohols in every once in a while and the prices are ridiculously cheap. So. Sometimes I get like $30 bottles of alcohol for like six bucks. So if you are like, you know, into these kinds of things, then go ahead and check that out. But I'm going to be doing this series on my channel every single month, once a month. I'm going to be doing a alcohol taste test Q&A with you guys. I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a way for us to connect and um, get to know each other more. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to try this out and I'm gonna tell you all about it and then I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions. So this, I'm gonna be kind of doing this as a vlog style. I'm not gonna edit this out too much, but this skull glass, I get a lot of compliments on it, but it is from Halloween and I got it from Food Max. So everything here is from the grocery store. I got this from Food Max and it was like $2.99 and I use it all the time, but Smelling it right off the bat, it smells like whiskey. It has a very like strong whiskey scent. And it's very, it's, it's not that strong. It's very sweet and it has a honey flavor. You can taste the honey a lot in here. Um, very sweet, like molasses type of sweet, but very good. Like it's warm going down and it tastes, I actually really like it. Um, and I would actually, yeah, pay the $12.99 for it, <laughs> but I did get it for $7.99. So this is something that I probably would go back and clear the shelf of it because it's really good. It doesn't smell too strong. I love the whiskey scent and then the taste is really good too. So should I take a shot? Should I take a shot with you guys and then answer the questions? I think I might. So here's to us, here's to us building our community here on YouTube and I'm going to be answering a lot of hair questions here today because you guys asked me a lot of questions on hair and skincare, just especially hair. So we're going to be diving into hair today. But in the next Q&A for next month, I want you guys to ask me anything like law of attraction, manifestation, um, tarot, spiritual hair questions, skincare questions, any kind of questions you want. Um, go ahead and ask me that. Um, email me your questions. I have my email linked down or I have my email down below or go ahead and just ask me in this video. I can refer back to this video for next month. And who knows, if this goes really well, I'll do this twice a month. So here's to us. Okay, going down, it's very smooth. It's very sweet. It tastes almost like juicy. Um, there's like a thick honey molasses flavor. I really like it. I hope I'm doing like a good review. Um, the alcohol content in this is 33% and this is corn whiskey. Oh, no wonder it, no wonder it smells like whiskey. It's moonshine whiskey. Um, yeah. I hope that this was an accurate review of my taste test. Um, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. If you guys want more information on the alcohol, let me know. Um, so I can, so we can do this better and funner next time. I'm already feeling it. That's quick, but I'm a tiny person. <laughs> okay. So, oh, by the way, if you guys are following me, on, or if you guys are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram name is cmonster3, that's S-E-A monster three 
and you guys should follow me because I just started recently like um, posting a lot more on there and I also want to do like daily readings on there too free one card daily readings if you're into that kind of stuff and I also want to take like snapshots of the hair mask that I'm doing that day or you know just of my life so you guys can follow me and follow me so I can follow you back um, okay let's see the first question that we have is going to be Soravi Mukherjee and these are like a little bit of the older questions that I've gotten um, on my channel but how to prevent hair damage split ends after coloring okay so after I color my hair I make sure within that week um, I will do two things I will get a trim so that I trim off the dead split dull dry ends and then I will do a coconut oil hair mask those are two things I always do after coloring my hair and I have bleached my hair myself and I've also colored my hair myself I have videos on my channel um, where you can see what I used and how I did it but the reason that my hair is not completely like fallen off is because I do those two things and I always do those two things I swear by those things right after coloring especially um, because right after you color you are damaging your hair no matter what like we bleaching coloring whatever um, you are damaging so you want to make sure that you put nutrients back into your hair uh, and you also cut off the dead ends and if you if you want to learn how to trim and cut your hair at home, I have a few videos on my channel where I show you how to do it. It's really easy and uh, yeah, it, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy and you barely even cut off any length with the tutorial that I show you. Um, so if you are interested in checking that out, I will leave those videos linked down below. But the next question is how to thicken fine and thin hair and that question comes from Janelle Minton. Okay, so. My favorite thing to apply to my hair to make it look thicker is castor oil. It's a very, very thick oil, but when I apply it to my hair, it brings out the texture and it makes, like, it plumps up each strand of my hair. It makes my hair look super thick. Now, this might not work for everybody, but what I like to do with castor oil is I like to put it on my roots, just a little bit of it, put it on my roots and fluff up my hair and it it makes my hair look so voluminous it's an oil but it works so amazing for making my roots look voluminous so that's a little secret of mine i like to use castor oil to make my hair look thicker um so yeah next question okay so sally christine sally christine fryer asked there's a washing technique for your hair that's supposed to be amazing called cwc condition wash condition um okay try it for a month and tell us what your professional opinion it is first of all i'm not a professional i just do trial and error on my hair and skin all the time um i haven't conditioned washed conditioned but i have conditioned and washed and actually i don't use conditioner in the shower i usually what i do is i will put the conditioner on my dry hair right before i take a shower i'll put conditioner on my hair usually from here down and then i'll leave it on for about five minutes ten minutes and then i'll jump in the shower and wash that off and then i'll shampoo my hair so i've been doing that for a long time and for me if i the diff the difference between that and washing your hair with condition or shampoo first is that the conditioner makes your hair really soft and shiny and when I put conditioner on my hair first before shampoo it gets rid of all the tangles and knots and it just makes it really smooth um, and after I wash my hair and it air dries it air dries very silky and glossy and I really love that effect that I get when I condition my hair first and so that's why I started conditioning my hair first all the time I don't condition my hair every day uh, but the days that I do use conditioner on my hair I use it before I use the shampoo so I hope that answers any questions there's a question about layers oh perfect cat I love that screen name as you guys know I have a cat tattoo I have two cats so I love cats um, layers at crown area with long hair please okay I I have been meaning to film this tutorial for a while and I will very soon 
And what the tutorial is, is uh, layers at your crown area, which means like back here, you're gonna have shorter hair than the rest of your hair. Just a little amount of shorter hair. What that does is it like when you just go like this and fluff up your hair just a little bit, um, this short hair will fluff up and make you look like your hair will look voluminous with no teasing, no hairspray, no nothing. All you're gonna need to do is fluff up that little bit of hair that's shorter than the rest of your hair. And I've been meaning to do that on my hair for a while now, I just haven't gotten the time. But as soon as I do cut my hair like that, um, I will film it and I will upload it. So stay tuned. And a lot of you guys have told me that you guys don't get my videos. I am uploading two to three videos per week. And like a lot of you are not getting my videos because YouTube is in this weird phase. I don't know what's going on, but uh, if you click the bell next to the subscribe button, then you get notified every time I upload a video. And that way you're not missing out on anything that I'm uploading and yeah, I want you guys to be a part of the community and get all my videos. Okay, next question is from Kirsty McFarland. And this lady, this beauty is like one of my longtime subscribers. She is so supportive of my channel and she's just a sweetheart. Help with recovery from bleaching, toning, coloring, and heat use. Okay. Recovery from bleaching, toning, coloring, and heat use. She's asking for DIY videos and those are coming up. But okay, when you bleach and tone and color your hair, like I said in the first question, make sure you're putting nutrients back into your hair and you're even cutting like a tiny bit of hair off because it's going to help your hair just Get, like the life will come back into your hair because you know like the ends sometimes are super dry and dead and dull You just want to trim those off a little bit after you bleach or your tone color your hair um, Just do it lift it up and bring the volume back into your hair bring it back to life and then um, Always use coconut oil or some kind of oil hair mask um, And then also you can trim your hair. Those are the two things that I swear by um, after coloring your hair or doing any damage to your hair, those are two things that will always, always, always help you, at least in my experience. How to stop severe hair fall? That's the last question. That's from Rapunzel1212. Okay, so how do you stop hair fall? Uh, let me see. I hope, hopefully I'm not missing out any questions. No. Okay, how do you stop severe hair fall? For me, I notice severe hair fall when my when I eat a lot of fast food and a lot of junk food and I don't drink enough water. Those are three things I notice that I shed a lot of hair. Like I will see when I take a shower, a lot of hair in the shower and it freaks me out and it makes me like change my diet. So number one is drink a lot of water and I know sometimes it's annoying to hear that but it really does help your hair. Water really helps your hair and also your diet like eating for me at least eating a lot of avocados um green foods and fish those things make my hair grow like crazy especially fish if you don't like eating fish you could take fish oil supplements or if you are vegetarian or vegan um i would suggest that you eat like a lot of avocados and greens and also um drink a lot of water i hope this answered a a lot of your questions and make sure you guys leave more questions for me down below for next um, for the next alcohol taste testing and q a if you guys have an alcohol in mind leave it down below because if i haven't tasted it yet then i'm gonna go and grab it and we got and we can do that um in the next taste test i might do another one this month or i might do two next month depending on how this goes but thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in my next video Cheers. Bye.